There's been a real buzz in the air, especially this morning after the great result. We've noticed a real shift in this school. There's a lot more kids playing soccer at lunch and recess, which is fantastic to see. Today we're at Jumana Primary School and we came here to deliver them a football session and talk to the children about what they're doing in terms of the World Cup. Schools are a really accessible point for kids to actually start playing football. There's no pressure, there's no competitive element to it. It's just give it a go, have fun, and if you enjoy it, then they might then branch out into a club and to the world of football. As a female soccer player, it is so awesome to see all of these women in leadership. They are selling out stadiums. They are doing an incredible job of inspiring our younger generation. We decided we hadn't done a geography unit and it was a perfect way to kind of overlap the two, geography, picking our countries and picking countries that were involved in the World Cup. I've been learning about some players from Japan's national women's soccer team. When I was in year three, I started playing soccer. I'm definitely going to keep playing and hopefully join Mount Martha Soccer Club. I was watching the Matildas play and I was really like happy because I'm hopefully getting tickets to the finals if we win. Yep, definitely supporting them. The Matildas are a lot more than just a team to a lot of these young children in the schools. They are very, very inspired by them as people and women in sport. It's been really cool having the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. We just wanted to take that opportunity to really showcase it for the kids. We're really cheering them on here at Jamana Primary School and we hope they go deep into the tournament.